everyone. Um, just catching up while I'm on the school run. Um, thought I'd suggest some website tips while I'm sat here. Um, I just thought our YouTube is based around simplifying IT and we wanted to make sure that your IT and your website works for you. So whether you've made your own WordPress website or if you've got a professional to do it, there are a few key things that you need to do to make sure your website is working for you. Now, there are the basics like making sure all of your links work, everything goes to the correct pages, your checkout works, your newsletter sign up works, um, every link on, you know, mobile, tablet, all of those things work. That, that's the start of the basics. Then make sure that there are no broken images, no broken links, um, and everything looks and appears correct. No point having a services page with services and images that are broken and not showing. So please make sure that you've checked those. Next, in WordPress, it is based around plugins. Now, a little bit like an iPhone has apps and the app store that keeps updating, your WordPress website will have basically the same thing. They're called plugins, not apps. Make sure that those plugins are updated at least twice a month. It's important. Um, it's important for security reasons and for performance reasons. Um, while we're on plugins, please make sure that any plugins that are not active, you delete. Again, for security reasons. Um, also, plugins will slow down your website. So the less you have, the quicker your website will be. In principle, we might be talking nanoseconds, but every little counts, right? So make sure that if you are using plugins or you do have a bunch of plugins installed, that they are actually doing something for you and not just there for no reason. Next, I would suggest uh, making sure that your content makes sense because we all become blind to our own content. Um, my own website itself has so many pages and so many content and so many blogs um, that I have had at least three content writers check mine. Um, it's not personal, it's that some things just don't make sense. So it is important that your content makes sense. And if you are going to have a blog on your website, make sure you update it at least once a month. Some blog ideas for you. Uh, you could talk about your team and you're about you. A recent case study, somebody that's bought from you, somebody that's had a recommendation from you. The success of your website isn't always down to it just being online and left to be out there for all to see. Um, sometimes you do need to actually put a little bit of extra marketing effort in, um, but not loads. You know, I'm not talking about spending all day on it. I'm just suggesting that once a week, you make sure that you share what you do on one of the social platforms that you actually use. Don't get overwhelmed by every single platform out there. Just use one that works for you and then start sharing. So on LinkedIn, Facebook, even Twitter, you can share your website because the more visitors you get to it, the more likely somebody is to buy from you.